Here's a venison sloppy joe recipe you won't want to miss. What's a good sloppy joe without a really good bun? This recipe that I found is amazing. I will link it and the sloppy joes down below. We're going to start by dicing up an onion. You can chop it if you want, but my kids really do not like onions. So for their sake, this is how we do it. Heat up a big pot with some olive oil. You could use a pan if you want, but I prefer to do this to keep the mess a little more contained. Saute those onions for three to five minutes until they're translucent, and then add two tablespoons of chopped or minced garlic. Once the garlic was fragrant, I threw in my venison. And for us, our grind bags are a pound and a half. I added in a teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of pepper, give or take. Crushed tomatoes are my preference, but I needed to use diced tomatoes because I didn't have any crushed on hand. I threw in a whole can of tomato paste. It really helps to thicken everything up. And this is the never ending Worcestershire. However you say it, I just kept adding until it was the flavor that I wanted. I want to say about four tablespoons, but don't worry, the proper amounts down below. I threw in a couple tablespoons of brown sugar to sweeten everything up. And if you wanted, you could even use some ketchup or you can make it a little more tangy with some barbecue sauce. So if you think about it like chili, if you simmer it for longer or if you eat it the next day, it's always that much better. That simmer is looking so good. Then I popped in a teaspoon of cumin and some curry powder along with a bay leaf and all those measurements will be down below. This meal comes together really fast, probably about 20 minutes or so. I like to butter and pan fry my buns to give it a little bit of crunch and to make sure that the sauce doesn't go right through. Take out that lovely bay leaf and then start popping it all together. You could change this up by putting garlic butter on your bun. You could use different cheeses to bring different spice to your meal or even change it up and pop some coleslaw on top. Whatever way you look at it, this meal is tasty, messy, and absolutely delicious. 